good guys welcome back to the vlog uh, was, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this I kind of have my hands tied behind my back right now because I didn't want to go out tonight because we're supposed to stay at home but Skyler called me up and he said hey let's go eat I kind of want to see the car I want to see the NSX if you guys haven't saw we recently just bagged the NSX so I wasn't able to actually sit and appreciate the car for what it is because we finished kind of late so tonight we're pretty much just gonna be chilling I don't know what are we gonna do but we're just gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna take you guys along with us also I forgot to show you guys I had a little shout out to Jackson Ooh, that looks fine and I forgot to mention that this car finally broke 26,000 miles just pulling out of the garage now man this car's a baby well she's old but and I'm running out of gas no gas I'm seriously praying to God right now that I can make it to the gas station I'm running on E baby and we made it thank you Lord Jesus Shout out to my girlfriend for getting me these gas cards for Christmas. I got like hundreds of dollars of these. Woo! Saving a lot of money on gas. I see it! I told myself I'd never do this, but... Perks of a, perks of a big spoiler. <laughs> I mean, you could sit on it and then use it... I cannot sit on it. There's no way hell. There's no way. On the carbon trunk. The front's gonna go down some more though, yeah? That's because of the calibration, it won't let you go any lower. It automatically pops it back up to this level. Oh, I see. So we just gotta recalibrate this thing, yeah. man. Because when we sat it at this level, the jack was under, so the tire was already pressed up against the top. So it thinks it's already bottomed out. Yeah. Are we gonna get that front lip back on for real? I mean, it just looks funky without it. I got a massive mic. Yeah. Or can pull off the black ones and the red ones. No. What do you think of the fusers? I run it. Oh, I have, I just have fins. That's it. Like it would look nice. I honestly think it would look nice. And it's like only has these weird diffusers where like, there's like nothing in the middle and it's like, yeah. It just looks kind of weird because all you see is the exhaust hanging there. It looks like it's, all you see is like a this, and that's pretty much it. That's the diffusers. They're kind of, I don't like it. The only thing is, being that like this gap right here is so small, just a slight fin would look nice. I don't think if you go too crazy, then. Well, you see the red car, right? Yeah. The red car, they just cut out the center. So I thought that's pretty decent too. All in all, I still think we did a pretty good job with this. <laughs> we just gotta adjust the minor stuff. 
It's an amazing start, but it's just a start. Yeah, it's just a start. I think if we just did control arms, change out the control arms, just so you can even out the suspension, or even out the, the camber. Well, I don't know if this is aftermarket or not, that's why. It looks stock. Aw. Oh. If it wasn't stock, then they were cheap. Yeah. These fins are not Because these can fit. Okay. Which one? The fins on your diffuser. Fins? No, so so for my fins, it's just straight bolt on into the diffuser panel. Just those? Yeah. So like. Or just bolt it on. Yeah. So if you look, if you go all the way down like underneath, yeah. you'll see it. Like it has like a part sticking out to bolt. Yeah. Because there under here, there's like four or five bolts. They go right into the the tray. Too. This was in front of it. Yeah, this is bolt on too. Yeah. That that goes right onto the. Bolt on. Yeah, right onto the um, the rear lip. Yeah, the only thing that's missing is the only thing missing really is is just that lip. If you put the lip on. It'll... Well, we only took it off because we had to do the. I couldn't get in my driveway. Yeah, you, we couldn't clear now driveway. I have the air kit, I can put it back on. Yeah, it's gonna look so sick, and then we just gotta get rid of this orange after. But for now, before we we touch that, what is left? Until that point, I have my list at home. It's oh. a long way. So the e seats, underglow for funsies. So I can do interior lights. I can do grill lights. I can do engine bay and like. Oh, just the lights, the whole thing. Everything. That would look nice for just even the just for the look. I can get that would look nice. I can change the colors if I want. Yeah. All those things are all like hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars there. Um, there's these carbon panel, car carbon fiber, um, like these pieces. Oh, you want to do like for the eight pillars and stuff? Yeah, but I'm assuming that doesn't change this wild. Yeah. But I don't know if it makes sense to do carbon here or not here. So I'm thinking carbon here and then you can't replace this because it's part of the car, but like just carbon yeah. wrap that. I know like the, I swear I saw for like 240s, I think, for whatever eight pillars, they have just clip on well, this one carbon, replace, this I think. Piece comes off. Yeah. You can replace this. People run the carbon. Or you know what you could do? Like whatever color you make the car, mm -hmm. just put a little design on here. Mm. That would that look would nice. nice. Just hit up like a personal designer or like a artist. That would look nice. That would. Or wait, try to unlock your trunk. If you was to have something where like, if you're gonna display it with the trunk open, if this design was to match the, if that design of the A pillar was to have like something like intricate with the with the tank. Hmm. I think that would look nice. If you're gonna just That's for display purposes. Carbon wrap it. Oh yeah, you could carbon wrap that too. I also gotta change out the carpet for this thing. Which is why I want to take fiberglass. Or if you're gonna change out the carpet, that would I would say that would have to match the cabin. We gotta make definitive banners, that's for sure. Mm. Throw a little cross right here. Oh. Sorry. And then the main logo. I really wanna put the main logo like on the door oh, for those, mine. Those are on the inside, that's probably the outside of the car. Which one? The banners. You lay it over the top? On the outside. Yeah. Because there was this um, thing I wanted to buy. So for the front windshield, it's like tint, but it's clear tint. But basically it's just a protective film. Oh, that's so that's the, um, like chips what is it called? That. I think it's called like PPF or something. I forget, but I, I just saw it. I don't know yeah. What it's called, yeah, that's. I wanted to do that, but I don't know if I can do that. With... Oh, you put that and then you put. No, no, no. Over. So, what guys do with that, that paint protection film, they'll put. Um, they'll put. They'll paint correct, and then they'll, they'll pretty much put the film over it, and then they'll ceramic coat it. Oh. Yeah. Like the whole, the whole shebang. Okay. Yeah. Because the ceramic coat at that point would be for the shine and the water. Yeah, and you protect your paint a lot in that way. No, if you want to draw huge attention, you know, you know the guys that have like that. What is it called? Those, uh, you know, like those those extra cargo stuff that they put on top. Oh, that looks <laughs> those, so those those tools or whatever. I forget what it's called. That, that looks so stupid. <laughs> the, the, the grand, the Torian. No, like because yeah, yeah. Some of the NSXs even yeah, have yeah. No, that's stuff. why. If you want to stand out, just put a fucking. Yeah, just put a big banana boat on there. <laughs>
That would look sick. There's this car when I when I was working at Tony Rome, I was like, every time I used to come and work, I always used to see her driving in a Waikiki with me. I think he was going to the beach or whatever. Yeah. It was like a evil, like a swaggy look, like a worked on evil. Like sedan or like coupe evil. Yeah. With not... like refracts and everything. Like, oh. Uh, like, you know, not just a regular evil, okay, whatever, but like a full on, this is way back. Like built evil kind? Yeah. Oh, sheesh. And then you have like a surfboard on the top of like. Oh. I have another car to take to the beach. Are you really gonna take this one? Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, just the other, just the other week. Oh, not the other week. Just the other day, um, we had so my garage door, the belt was the belt tensioning. I guess it would, it got all messed up. So, oh, who I forget what was the guy's name. But anyways, the the guy that came to check on our on the motor right he's like i see your car all the time you're always in the garage and then i was like well i mean for the past two months i haven't been working because of freaking corona <laughs> and then you know what he goes and he, you know what he says he says oh how many horsepower you got i was like i'm only running like 5 30 you know and he's like he's like oh my daughter has an evil evil 8 running 800 i was like what the fuck I like the older Evo. I love the Evo 8. That's my favorite. If I was to get a Lancer, I always wanted the Evo 8. See, the Evo 5s, five? Evo 5s kind of remind me of like... Six, what is it? Oh, it's been a long time since I looked at Evo. 5 or 6 kind of reminds me of like the the first gen WRXs, you know? Okay. Sorry. Thank you, bro. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? And we got kicked out, so I guess it's time to go home. As fun while it lasted, I'm pretty sure the guy let us stay longer than what we should have. Bye, friends! What's good guys just got back home man this coronavirus thing is like literally driving me nuts just staying at home all day long but a good drive a good drive is really good therapy well for me it is honestly i'm the type to just go on a good drive i, I don't need to race nobody nothing i just i just want to be able to drive clear my mind honestly with all this crazy stuff going on it really sucks but prayers to all of you guys that's affected i hope everyone it's gonna get through this. You know, we're all in this together and we're all gonna get out of it together. And hopefully we just take this time of uncertainty to just become better people. A lot of self-reflection can go on with times like this, but I'm gonna do what I can just to put out content for you guys. And I hope that you guys can enjoy them. I'm really thinking about doing another q and I thought it was fun from the last run that we did. And it gives me a reason to go out driving again. When it's time to do q and I'm just gonna post it up on my Instagram and you guys go ahead and just pretty much ask all your questions. Um, but, but yeah, follow me on Instagram, Lance underscore GTC. And also remember to follow Definitive as well on Instagram. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. It'll really help a lot. And to help me grow this channel, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. It'll really, really help this channel. Again, I want this channel to grow as much as I can. And hopefully I can do that and incorporate and show what Oahu has to offer as far as automotive as well. So with that being said, stay safe, be well, guys. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. And always remember, challenge your standards.